So you have your footage and now you're ready to edit. This Motion VFX Academy lesson is going to go over how to bring that footage into Final Cut Pro so you can begin your masterpiece. If this is the first time that you're importing media into Final Cut Pro, your interface is going to look something like this. You're going to have an untitled library with a Smart Collections folder, followed by an event with today's date on it. Now, before we import some media into Final Cut, let me rename the library, import clips, as well as change my workspace for something more conducive for important organization workflows. I'll head to the window menu where I'll choose workspaces, organize. All of a sudden, I have a lot more real estate here with my browser. I'm gonna click on the import media button, which opens up the media import window. Now, while there may be a lot of different places where you'll be importing your media from, the process is rather similar. The panel on your left will have different camera devices as well as favorite locations where you can locate your media. In this case, I have my desktop selected and I'm in a folder called South America containing clips that my colleague Marcin has sent me. I'm gonna single click the first clip to which I can get a preview of it in the top center if I click on the play button, I'll be able to play that back. I can also pause the clip and on the film strip, skim over the contents of the selected shot and repeat this for all of the other shots contained within my folder. Now, for any reason that a clip or a audio asset may appear grayed out, it means that the media is not supported by Final Cut Pro. Now to the right is where we are gonna import the media how we would like to do so, as well as additional functions that can help automate certain processes in our editing workflow. For the purposes of this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on the top right event selection. It's here where we can choose which event we want our media to be located in. Currently, we have the default selected event, but if I needed to, I could create a new event in my existing import clips library. I'm gonna stick with adding to the existing event. And just below this is where we can choose to import your media into the library. We've got the option of copying our files to our library or leaving our files in place. I wanna keep the option at copy, which is gonna make new copies of the media from my desktop and place this inside the location of where my library is. Now we can also choose to have Final Cut auto-correct video and audio issues that are common in production. Also, if you're looking to create proxy or optimize copies of your media, you can do so here as well, as well as in different frame sizes. Now, these additional steps that you see here outside of importing can also be accomplished later. For this example, we're going to leave all of the other items as they are and select the media that we want to import. In this case, I want to select all of the clips within this folder. So I'll select the first one followed by Command A to select the rest and now click on the import all button. Notice that there's a check mark next to close window after starting import that we can toggle on or off. We can see that all of our clips are currently being copied to our library in the background task manager. I'll click on it to show you this process happens in the background under the transcoding and analysis section. Now that we've imported this first batch of media, I've just been handed an iPhone that I'd also like to grab some video and photos from. The iPhone is now currently connected to my Mac. I want to head to the file menu, import media now to grab those assets. We can see under cameras, here's Nicholas's iPhone. And under this iPhone, we have the options of choosing videos, photos, or showing all of the clips that exist on the phone. In this case, I'm going to choose videos and select a few shots. I'm going to click on this one, followed by command click on these other few shots. Now, if I draw your attention to the right, we're gonna be copying this to the exact same existing event. But notice that we have no option to leave these files in place where we did have that option previously with our clips that were on the desktop. Now, the reason being that I don't have the option to leave them in place is that these files are not gonna be available to me after I disconnect my phone. So if I'd like to use them in an edit, I need to now place them inside my library. With these clips selected, let's choose Import Selected. I now see these populate close to the bottom of my existing library. Now, what happens if you have a folder that you'd just like to drag in into an existing event? 
In this case, I'm going to head to my Finder and then navigate as well to my desktop, where I have a folder called Autumn D&D. I can drag the contents from the Finder directly into my Final Cut event, and you'll see that it highlights. Once I release my mouse, as you can see, there are two keyword collections, and this is based on the preferences inside of Final Cut. To see what our existing preferences are, I'll go to Final Cut Preferences. And in the general dialog box, let's head to Import. And you can see here that the files are being copied to the library and that keyword collections are going to be generated from folders, the Autumn D&D, as well as finder tags. A few of these clips have a finder tag of the word green. I'll close that default dialog box. So what does it mean if you leave your files in place? To show this, I want to import some clips from an external drive. Like we've done before, I'll go to the file menu and choose import media. And I'm going to select the Lacey drive here in my system and head to a folder called art grid continued. I'll select two shots within this folder and add them to the existing event, but this time leaving the files in place. Once I choose import selected, those two files show up within Final Cut. Now, for any reason, if I went to the Final Cut Pro menu and quit Final Cut, followed by headed to my Lacey drive and chose to right click and eject it from my system. If I head back into Final Cut and scroll to where those files were, we can see these missing file icons because that drive is no longer available and Final Cut was looking for it because it was left in place. In order to see these files again, I need to reconnect my drive. So right now I will plug back in my drive. I'm going to head to the finder where we can see that I've now plugged back in my drive as well as the two clips have now updated in terms of their thumbnails because it's reconnected to that media where it once was. Now, if you'd like to delete any media out of your library, you want to select the clip and press command delete. This option moves the media into the trash. Any external files are going to be left in place where they are. I'll now press OK to delete the media. Now we can also bring in photos, music, as well as audio into our projects. All we have to do is head to the photos and audio sidebar. Here you'll see photos, GarageBand, as well as music that you have on your system. But if you need, you can select any of these clips and then bring them into your existing project slash timeline. So let's review all of this. To import media into Final Cut Pro in a blank library, you're going to want to click on that media import button. You can also use the shortcut command I or head to your file menu to choose import media. Once you're in the media import window, you can access your media from different locations and devices. Here I have my desktop selected and we'll head back into the Autumn D&D folder where I see each of those individual clips. It's here in the center where I can also preview those clips by pressing on the play button, pausing, as well as skimming across the film strip. Now to the right of this preview area is where we can specify which event we will be bringing our clips into. By default, it adds it to the existing event that was selected inside your Final Cut library before heading to the media import window, where you can always choose to select another event to create a new event to store your clips. We can also close the media import window entirely, head to our finder window and choose to select clips or even folders to which we can then drag and drop into our event. Now, if we are using GarageBand or music, we could head to our photos and titles sidebar and import content from here. Now also to delete any media from your event in Final Cut, all you have to do is select the clip and then press command delete. A warning box will pop up, but simply press OK to remove it from that library.